let's go to work. This is a main hydro block and essentially it's all of the hydraulics other than the pump which would normally sit here I don't have that this is the one part that I that I didn't have the pump I'm going to explain how this all works clearly you can see from the get-go we've got a pressure release valve here to release any over pressurization of the system this is set at three bar plate to plate heat exchanger for the hot water flow circuit in here for the cold water coming in that goes into hot water we've got another hydro block here and we've got the diverter on the left hand side around the back here we've got a bypass and a small pipe here there is the flow that would come down from the main heat exchanger to here i flip this over flow to the radiators and typically this would have isolation here open here going off to hot water taps this is your cold mains coming in this is the return the return for the central heating and these two positions here are anchors onto the chassis of the boiler pressure gauge it's either the pressure gauges on this side or the pressure gauges on this i can't remember these are normally held on with a couple of clips here to hold this in you're drying the and as a variation so again it's got the pressure release valve at the front drain here pressure gauge rather than it having style of um, diverter flow turbine in here so this has a hall effect in here this sits on the top it rotates and gives you the demand for hot water and then it would actuate an electronic version diverter instead of this one it's pretty much the same the only difference is this section here this is the most common one that we find hot water first the cold mains comes in here goes through into here and it passes through this gauze filter that has to come through this so it comes through a restrictor valve which denotes the flow amount for this particular boiler and this is a check valve so it kind of slows it down so that you can't get any water going back into the mains as well so this flows through here it goes into a separate body here so this is how the the diaphragm works so it's important that you understand this so cold water comes up through here goes through this gauze filter through the check valve when it's equalized so when you've got no taps running these two pressures here on the diaphragm are equal so it's in this position here where there is no pin coming out when you run the hot water tap the flow on this side is greater than on this side pressure here outpowers the other one the diaphragm in there this plate here is in this position where it's not sticking out of the front here and then the pressure on this side is greater so it pushes this forward which then actuates the, um, the switch at the front which shows a demand for hot water which also pulls the lever across here yeah, pulling this forward which then opens this section here so the water then starts flowing the central heating water flows through here and then it comes up here and you can see here central heating water going across here okay so it comes across there out the other side to the pump and then gets circulated around the boiler main heat exchanger when it's in this position here where the pin is not out it's flush here it's in central heating mode so the water goes through there and straight out of there to central heating mains comes through here goes through the back of the plate to plate across the bottom section yeah go wiggles through the veins comes across here and comes out the hot water tap here this is for the hot water outlet sorry i haven't explained the there's a check valve in here so that this pressure in here is equal to what's in the central heating and it behind this diaphragm so it's kind of in this position here that it is when it's equalized because the spring is pushing it down when the pump runs the pressure pushes this pin up here it knows that the, the water is running um, around the system for the uh, pump and then it will carry on and like I say when this comes out here at the front it knows that there's hot water 
this comes out, there's a demand. So long as that pin comes up, the PCB then fires up the boiler and it goes through the sequence. So I'm going to strip this down quickly. So pull that out. This comes off the back here. An O-ring on either side. Not there. So I hope you're enjoying the content of these videos. I am trying my best here to uh, satisfy the newcomers so that they understand the basics of this stuff. Um, I think it's fundamental that once you understand how these boilers work, and it's interesting because on this particular boiler, if you look at the, at the way this central heating water works and everything, the flow of it, it's very similar to uh, a valent. Well, obviously a valent is different in design with its um, other components, but the flow of the water comes across there for the um, central heating in the plate to plate. Even the flow down the left hand side, a lot of the manufacturers use the flow on the left and the return on the other side. So this is the plate to plate. So you can see there just in case central heating comes across, you can see how dirty this one is and the water goes across from the left hand to the right end. Just thought I'd share this last bit with you. Clearly if the central heating water flows from this side here through to the other side then naturally when you come to descale this if you were to use acid what you want to do and I see this time and time again is put the chemical down let it do its bit and then force it backwards so put the pressure of the water through here and force it out this way because naturally if the blockage is going to occur over here there's going to be more scale debris and rubbish all the way this way coming across further over this way so naturally force it out that way preferably put some acid in clean it out and then put an airline on here and blast all of it through that's the best way that i've found you can also turn these over and give them a good bang with a vibrating hammer or something like that with a pneumatic drill got that simple gauze filter that's it pretty much anchorage plate if you wanted to replace the pressure release valve on these new you find that these are slightly in the wrong position so if you just loosen them there's an o-ring in here yeah an o-ring on there and you've got your three bar pressure release valve and these are pretty common fare these ones got a couple of large what i would call donut type o-rings on this section over here you've got this that unders here again o-ring there and if you were changing the dive um, any of the diverter this would stay in the boiler and you would either undo these two or pull the whole, whole body out and replace that or look at the other video and look how you can recondition that and repair it and in here um, nothing to report there's nothing in here there's a couple of screws um, so that you can gain access but that's it um, that's the hydroblock for the main and uh, many of the backs here in Potterton range so I hope that helps it's uh, a bit of a strip down Thanks for watching.